to partner with you in the education of your little learners. Due to the COVID-19 outbreak, the registration process will look differently. This year, we will hold all of our new student registrations, including pre-K, kindergarten, and first grade online. For families registering their child for pre-kindergarten, there are some additional required documents that will need to be uploaded in the registration form. These documents include your child's immunization record, your child's birth certificate issued from the state they were born in, a photocopy of the parent ID, proof of residence, and proof of income. Another very exciting update is that Keller ISD will be expanding to full day pre-K in the fall. We are currently working on ordering materials and getting the very best teachers hired for our pre-K classes. Both ELC North and ELC South, as well as 12 elementary school campuses will be offering full day pre-K this fall. For more information, a list of the elementary campuses and a link to enroll your child, go to the Keller ISD Early Learning website at kellerisd.net backslash pre-K. We can't wait to see you this fall. We've been working with the campuses to help identify safe year-end celebrations for our campuses and for our students. In addition, I can tell you the four high schools are all working on a senior celebration event. Those plans haven't been finalized yet, and more information will be coming out from the high school campuses about those events. In addition to that, proms have been rescheduled, and we're looking to start the ticketing process next week through our online web store and graduation. That date has been rescheduled to Saturday, July 25th at Dickey's Arena, and we're moving forward with creating a full-fledged graduation ceremony for our students as long as we are open to do so. In addition to that, we've been working with the campuses to identify collection and distribution opportunities that are safe for our students and our staff. So that means things like tech books and library books. We're trying to coordinate those events so students can come up and do a one-stop drive-through and drop those items off, as well as giving back things like athletic uniforms and band equipment. We're also looking for ways to have our students safely come up to campuses to get their belongings out of lockers and out of classrooms. We're in the planning phase right now of those uh, processes, and as they become more finalized, we'll make sure to communicate them out to you, but know that we're always gonna do it in a manner that is most safe for our students and staff and not to jeopardize anybody's health. Safety and Security is continuing to support meal distribution and technology distribution during this time. We're also working with principals and teams at each of our schools and across the district to create safe plans for our end-of-year processes, property management, and activities across the district. We're also looking at the 2020-2021 school year and creating plans for many different opportunities and planning for situations no matter where we may be. So whether COVID is under control or it returns in the fall, we're creating plans for in-person, hybrid, and online educational opportunities with many combinations in between so we can continue to provide exceptional educational opportunities in the safest environments possible.